visible. How do you make videos? How do you even start when you don't want to? How do you get online and show up for your audience and show up for your people, even when there's part of you that's like, ugh, I don't even want to do it. Welcome to this week's Holistic Business Training, everyone. It's so good to have you here. I'm Elizabeth, the founder of the Women's Holistic Business Network and the Women's Holistic Business Academy. Hopefully my sound is working. It wasn't working earlier, so we are good to go. Perfect. So in this video, you're going to learn all about how to make a video. Seems like a great topic to, uh, especially during the summer, to think about how do we get visible and how do we reach our people? even when there comes times when we do not want to. And I say this especially during the summer, those of us who are in the Northern Hemisphere are experiencing summer right now, and it might feel like, I just wanna get outside, I wanna go jump in the lake, I wanna do everything else except for get on my computer or get and make a video. Now, that can happen at other times too. You might just wanna do everything else except for get visible or reach your people. And when I say get visible, I don't just mean making videos. I also mean doing emails, doing social media, doing master classes and video series, doing all the things that can really help you to find clients, reach people and make more money doing what you love, what you love. But what is it that stops you from being able to make your video? So let's just stop. Let's just stop. Let's just start right there. What is it that might stop you from making a video, from reaching your people, from getting visible? And it's those feelings oftentimes of, I'm worried about how I will look, how I will sound, what people will think, what people will say. It's a lot of externals. So what are you concerned about when you think about making a video, when you think about getting visible, when you think about reaching your people, what is it that you think about? Post it in the comments down below right now. Also post in the comments, what is your business and what are you up to in the world? As we talk about this topic, getting visible, making videos, reaching people, getting clients, I want to know what you're up to in your business, in your holistic business. The Women's Holistic Business Network is an incredible network of women who are spiritual teachers, holistic leaders, wellness practitioners, who come together to really help and support each other with their businesses. And I'm here as your guide and your teacher to help lift you up into your incredible businesses. Uh, Alyssa is here. Hey, Alyssa, it's so good to see you. She's not worried at all. She's ready in here right now. And I love that. Some of you are not worried about being visible. You're just ready to go. And that is, that's where I need you to be. That's where the world needs you to be. Not me personally, but that's where the world needs you to be. As a holistic leader, when you step forward into your visibility and stand in your authentic empowerment of who you are and what you have to to give to the world what the message is that you bring to the world what the teachings are when you can stand in that you're going to help a lot of people and getting visible actually helps you get clients so there are a lot of great reasons to, for you to get visible it helps people and it helps you to get clients and income that's number the one of the main things about getting visible that entrepreneurs need to pay attention to is it actually is directly linked to you bringing in money so that you can continue to do what you love you don't have to go back and work for somebody else you don't have to uh, give up on your dreams you can continue to do what you love so I have six essentials for you here today on getting visible and how to even when you don't want to because I'll tell you a little story about a half an hour ago I was laying right here feeling like how am I gonna do this video oh I promised a video I promised a weekly video I promised myself I'd do a weekly video I don't really want to I don't feel like it have you ever felt like that before when you're going to get online and you just don't feel like it. I had a full day. I was teaching and leading my incredible group of clients earlier and a full day of business. And at the end of it, I was like, oh, I don't want to. And I started to tell myself the excuses. I'm tired. I want to go jump in the lake. I want to get out in the trees. I have other things I need to do. So that happened. <laughs> what I did was I started with myself and I went, I'm gonna do this video, I promised myself, but first I'm gonna lay down. So I just laid down and rested. So your first essential today is to take care of yourself. Write that down. Take care of yourself first. So I laid down, and when you lay down flat, either on your couch or on your floor with your feet up, on your couch or your feet up the wall or just flat on your floor, what it does is it resets your nervous system. 
It rests your adrenals. It removes stress hormones from your body. It gives you clarity. Slow your breath down when you lay down. So anytime before you lead, even if it's leading a single client or whether it's doing a video or making a post, take five or 10 minutes out just to breathe, to be, to reset and get into your creative center. This is really important and this is why it is step number one in your getting visible plan is settle into yourself, take care of yourself. Now the other thing I did was I ate some chocolate. I was like, I'm just gonna give myself some chocolate. That's one of my things. <laughs> I might be addicted, are you? Okay, anyway, so I took care of myself, I got a drink of water, I ate some chocolate and I laid down. And that really just helped me to be like, okay, I'm gonna take care of me first. And you gotta take care of you first when it comes to you getting visible. Take care of you first, make sure you're rested, make sure that you're able to show up and be present with the people you're here to be present with. Now, a little caveat to this. Sometimes, holistic, especially those of you who are sensitive, will have a feeling like, well, I don't want to get visible, I don't feel like it, and you'll take it as a sign that you shouldn't, or it's not meant to be. And I'm gonna tell you this, everyone. Get ready to write this down. If you don't feel like getting visible, it is not, I repeat, it is not a sign that you shouldn't do it. It is simply your inner programming or an inner fear or an uncomfortable because you're stretching into being more that's talking. So I'll repeat that. If you have the feeling like you don't want to get visible, it is not your intuition. It just might be your fear self talking. So how many of you are willing to keep stepping forward? And that leads me to tip number two, which is remember why. When it comes to getting visible, when it comes to putting things out there into the world with your business and with you, remember why you're doing it. Sometimes I have feelings like, I don't want to put an email out. I don't want to get visible. I don't want to do a video because I might not look good. I might not sound good. People who I fear will judge me might see me, etc., etc. And as soon as I'm having those thoughts, I'm outside of myself thinking about other people rather than staying centered and thinking about the people I'm here to serve. And one of the things that really helped me is I went back to last week's video, which I did outside, it was so much fun, and I looked back on all your comments and I was moved by how many of you were inspired and ignited by last week's video. And I thought, right, this isn't about me. This is about the women who I'm here to serve, who I'm here to help, and who I'm here to lead. So tip number two today is remember your why. And that's often connected to your clients. Women who are holistic, oftentimes their why is leading people, helping people heal, helping the world be a better place. So what is your why? Your sacred why? Write it down in the comments down below right now. What is your sacred why and why you do your business? Why you're up to the incredible work that you're up to? Because that's gonna be your guiding light when you don't feel like it, when everything else comes up, when your self judgments come up. You can realign yourself with your sacred why and know why you're doing what you're doing. So, uh, this is, oh, Alyssa is up to such amazing things. Thank you, Alyssa. Oh yeah, very cool. So. Number one was take care of yourself. Number two is remember your why. These are gonna help you to move forward when it comes to getting visible and reaching more people, getting more clients. All right, number three, making videos even when you don't feel like it is be imperfect. Yes, I said it, fellow perfectionist here in the room, be imperfect. It's why I love live videos because if I make pre-recorded videos, this would take me six hours because I would stop it and start it and be like, er, I didn't say the right thing and I didn't talk slow enough or fast enough or loud enough or I, I, I messed up or I, I repeated the word I three times just then or like whatever and I would stop the video and I would do it again. But because we're live, I don't let myself do that. And another thing I don't, I personally don't do is I don't watch my videos afterwards. I just let them be out there. They are imperfect. The thing about live, peop live people, live videos is that people expect them to be imperfect. They expect you to just show up as you, to goof up, and it doesn't matter. I know people who love to watch their videos afterwards. Go and do that if you want to. But personally, I just do live, and then I just release it to the universe. So be imperfect. Don't always know what to say. Don't always necessarily have a perfect plan. Because 
Perfection can, can, can keep you from taking action. So how many of you are willing to just release perfection and take action? Go for completion rather than perfection. So that is number three, be imperfect. Number four, here's a good one, schedule it. So I promise myself that every Wednesday afternoon, I will go live into the Women's Holistic Business Network and I'll do a video for you all. And I'll teach you something that helps to uplift you in your businesses. So I promised myself that. So I've scheduled it. Now I found that when I scheduled it to an exact time, it didn't work out for me quite as well as when I just know that sometime on Wednesday before the end of the day, I do it. And that gets it done. And if you could, you could schedule it. I actually have it written into my calendar. Sometimes the time flexes, but it's written in my calendar for some time between 4 and 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. And so it's actually in my calendar and I have it as a repeating weekly thing in my calendar. So nothing ever gets booked over top of it. Now it's smoothable if I need to, but it's rare that I need to and I see it in my calendar. It's coming, it's an appointment. So schedule it. You could schedule your social media post time, your email time, put it in your calendar and schedule it. And that'll really help you get it done. All right, number five is once you've scheduled to it, scheduled it, stick to it. So when you've scheduled it, don't let anything else get away in the way. Don't be like, oh, well, it's too hot out or it's too cold out or somebody needs me or I've got to get all these other admin things done. One of the most important things you can do in your business, everyone, is reach your people and serve your people. They don't care as much whether you have a beautiful logo as they care if you're reaching out to them, talking to them, teaching them, holding space for them. They don't care as much if your website is perfect, as much as if you are doing a live video and giving them an essential tip that they need in order to move their lives forward. So, how many of you are willing to schedule it and stick to it and show up for people? So put it in your calendar. All right, and number six is no matter what you feel, do it anyway. Do it anyway, because the momentum of it feels incredible. Perfect example today, I was like, I don't feel like it, I'm not gonna do it. And as soon as I started doing it, well, the first video I did actually, the sound wasn't working, but I felt better right away. <laughs> as soon as I started doing the video, I'm like, I'm out here, I'm doing a video, it doesn't matter, and I feel better. So do it anyway. So let me go over these six keys for you. Number one, take care of yourself. Number two, remember why you're doing what you're doing. It's for other people, not yourself. Number three, be imperfect, just do it, just get it going. Number four, schedule it, put it in your calendar. Number five, stick to it actually show up for what you say you're going to show up for. It helps you on a deep internal level. Number six, no matter what happens, do it anyway. And your bonus tip today is, again, remember why you're doing it. You're doing what you're doing with your business. You're reaching people. You're getting online. You're doing promotions and videos and reach outs and all the things that you're doing for a bigger reason than just you. You're doing it so that you can help heal people and heal the world. I think that women who have holistic businesses are incredible your leaders it just it makes me it makes me take a deep breath whenever i think of that and that we could get caught up in like websites and opt-in pages and email lists and videos and all the technical stuff and it's like stop and align with who you are at your heart so that you can run your business from a true place from an aligned place and from a place that feels like it's a representation of who you are have fun with it be you. If you is quirky or goofy or edgy or really soft or whatever you are, show up as you and be you in all of your promotions, your social media, your videos, your emails, your interactions with your clients. Across the board, you are the one shining through. So remember why you do what you do. I hope that these six keys have really helped you. I want to uh, invite you to post in the comments down below right now which of these ones stands out to you the most? Which is the one that you need to work on? Post it in the comments down below. Is it taking care of yourself first? Is it remembering your why and your clients? Is it being imperfect? Is it scheduling it? Is it sticking to it? Or is it doing it anyway? Which of those ones is the one that you need to move yourself forward in the most? And 
I will also want to know what it is that you want to learn more about in these videos because I'll come to you every week, teach you and train you in holistic business. I love doing them and I love watching all of you shine and grow and lead in your own businesses. That's what I'm here to do. So keep doing what you're doing because when you grow and develop your business, when you lead online, you truly make the world a better place. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody.